So as usual, I always get myself a template so I know about the size of the cake that I'm going to make. The first thing that I did was the sail for the boat. I did the markings just to have the idea of movement. And also I made the holes where the strings were going to go in. Something very good that I learned. The name of his channel is Yena's Way. I'll leave a link on the description below. That if you need your fondant to dry faster, you can put the pieces on top of corn flour. And that was really helpful for me because my pieces used to dry in about a couple of weeks. And this time they dry in a few hours. I left them overnight and the next day the pieces were ready to be used on the cake. I got this inspiration by one of his cakes. You should definitely have a look. It's quite amazing the cakes that he makes. So after you use all the corn flour, please keep the corn flour for the next cake. Don't throw it away. For the mass, I'm using chocolate fondant. I first made the fondant a little bit wet with water and I'm just showing you how an easy way to cover all the sticks. To give that wooden effect I mixed a little bit of the white with the chocolate fondant. I'll leave you a link to where I got this template from. Also another trick that I've learned was after the ganache you actually put tempered chocolate on top and this really helps stabilize <laughs> especially after putting the um, masks on. Also, I covered the whole cake with tempered chocolate and that also was a lot easier to cover everything with fondant afterwards. <music> to help the cake stay in place, I always put a little bit of ganache at the bottom of the cake. All the parts of the cake that were supposed to have windows on, I first put a little bit of white fondant and then I cover with the chocolate fondant just to give the idea of the light inside of the windows. As you can see here, because I put that black strip underneath the blue, it gives the idea of just the dark. Instead of cutting through the cake, you can just see like a dark room. And that's the same idea for the part on top of the boat. The difference is that the room at the top is lighter. <laughs> and again, I use tempered chocolate to set all the masks in place. 
the trickiest part was to put the sails in place and because I made those holes along the side of the sail that was really helpful to put this string as just an elastic string that you can use to make bracelets and I reinforce the first and the last knot I did like a double knot and then I cut the excess string there's no right and wrong way this is just the way that I found there was easiest as long as the sail will stay there and that's all good <laughs> this was also really helpful is to get that cooling spray that sets the chocolate straight away I mean here you can really use your imagination I got this picture from a boat on Google and I tried to replicate so you can put the stairs where you wanted the sides this is just to give you an idea or what you can do with fondant For the waves I mixed a little bit of the white with the blue and then to give the idea of the movement with the water I used a brush and I painted a little bit of white icing on top. Oh, the Lego one's gonna burn. Happy birthday to you. I reckon you're gonna light the sails and let the ship burn. Aboard the ship!